Okay, Leo, we got manifestation and sorrow for your first two cards. So there is somebody that has manifested something very much painful. And I feel like whoever this is, they have brought it onto themselves. So whatever that they have done, Leo, to you, it may have backfired, basically, because I'm strongly getting that this person purposely probably tried to destroy you, Leo. We got destructiveness. They tried to destroy you for real. And I feel like y'all have put this person on a pedestal. Y'all have mad, y'all have, listen, a lot of y'all have showed this person but mad love and you respected this person. You literally had a lot of respect for this person. And now, whatever they have done, Leo, which caused a separation between y'all, it has definitely backfired on their end. And now this person is very much conflicted and very upset because this person wants to come back, Leo. But I feel like you let this person go. You very much let this person go. I, I am seeing that. Some of you guys, this person could be calling you, texting you, but you could be declining their, your, their phone calls. Maybe you're sending them to voicemail, Leo. Because you've had to free yourself. Y'all have freed yourself from this person, Leo. I am seeing that. And your person, all they want is your forgiveness. But I feel like you don't even care. You don't even want to hear what this person has to say, Leo. I feel like I'm hearing what's done has been done. You know, but it is saying that your person, they want to resolve the situation with you. And that's their goal is to get you back. Their goal is to get you back and resolve this, Leo. Because I just keep hearing in the back of my mind that your person brought this down onto themselves, Leo. Them trying to destroy you, it backfired. They realized that they destroyed themselves, Leo. Look, and this person wants a new beginning. This is nothing but an experience for this person. Look, conflicted. This person is very much conflicted about what this, you know, what this has brought onto them, Leo. But I strongly get that they are the reason why. Things could be pretty much not only chaotic in their life, but very chaotic, you know, mentally within them because of them trying to destroy you. But we're going to dive a little bit deeper in the situation. I feel like a lot of y'all did learn your lesson. Y'all did. Y'all learned your lesson. You know, this person feels very much guilty about what they have done to you. Okay, what else? What else, Spirit? Clear intuitive messages, please. Yeah, y'all have definitely got over this person. Maybe you used to have sleepless nights, you know, over the situation. But I feel like a lot of y'all have, have overcame that mental conflict that you once had. But them, I feel like they obsessively in their thoughts, in their mind about this, Leo. And listen, your person wants another opportunity. They're very much holding on to you. Now, some of you guys... If this person do come back, because some of y'all's person is going to pop back up in your life, but some of you guys may be protecting yourself, whether you are protecting your yourself, your stability, or whether you are just in another commitment or everything. Maybe you're protecting your new love, you know, your family, your material life, you know, whatever the case may be. But expect this person to definitely pop back up in your life, Leo. What else do we have? But I feel like y'all could be protecting yourself for the most part. Yep, y'all don't want nothing to do with this person anymore. We got the Ace of Wands right here. Ooh, some of y'all, this could be somebody that may have, maybe you thought this person has an STD, Leo. I am getting that energy. But I feel like a lot of y'all are protecting yourself from this person. Y'all playing it safe right now. Some of you guys used to work with this person, whether you had, um, maybe this was a co-worker of yours, or maybe this was a, a, a boss. Some of you guys, it could be a business partnership that you was in with this person. Y'all just take what resonates, and if y'all have to, flip-flop this energy. But it is saying that a lot of you guys, when this person pop back up in your life, you could be trying to literally protect yourself from this person. You no longer have the desire to, to get back together with this person. Yeah, you have completely made your mind up. We got the hangman. Y'all mind is made up, Leo. You're letting go of this person. 
I feel like it's because you have made a lot of sacrifices dealing with this person, yeah. Your person is not making any progress in their life at all. Everything in their life has slowed down, Leo. Some of you guys' this person lost out on some finances, some money, you know, and it's because of greed. Some of you guys were dealing with somebody who was very much greedy with their, you know, with their finances, Leo, because like I said, maybe this is somebody, some of y'all, this could be somebody that you, maybe you used to work with this person and y'all ended up being in a romantic connection with this person. Um, I'm also getting this energy, this could be somebody that owe you some money. But maybe money do play a part with some of you guys. And maybe y'all ended up, it was like, come from working together to having a romantic connection with this person. And, to, and then it may have fell, um, fell away. But it don't have to. But it is saying that this is somebody that was very um, selfish with their, whether this is with their time, their energy. Most of you guys, it was just saying that this person was very stingy with, in regards of finances, in regards of money. Um, maybe they, they didn't give you what you, what they promised you. I don't know for some of my Leos, but it is saying that their life is slowing down. They could be without financially. They, they struggling. They definitely struggling right now, Leo. But I feel like a lot of you guys, I don't know why I'm reading this backwards. A lot of you guys are avoiding this person because you know this person has not changed you don't want to hear what this person has to say once again a lot of y'all ignoring this person whether you're aware of this or not maybe you think this person that's calling could be a, um a scam some of y'all probably getting a lot of calls from here some of y'all getting calls where you think that they are scam calls but it's this person trying to get a hold of you that's exactly what i just heard for somebody Maybe you're declining the calls or the, the calls are, are automatically going to voicemail. But it is saying that somebody, this person is trying to reach out to you. Some of you guys, this person going to end up finding a way to get a hold of you anyways. And you're still going to reject them. So I'll take what resonates. Because I'm hearing somebody could be using WhatsApp numbers to get a hold of you, Leo. If you're not answering through their phone or if you're not answering your phone in general. Because some of y'all probably just don't want to be bothered. Because you don't want nobody in your energy. You don't want nobody around you. Period. You know? you just not... At this point, you, it's crazy because I'm hearing that this person fell in their own demise. Like, this person has literally tried to destroy you, but in reality, they destroyed themselves. It backfired. Yeah, this is somebody that's for the community. Some of y'all are somebody from the street. This is somebody that messed around with everybody in the community, Leo. You know, you was probably not the only one. What else do we have, Spirit? Clear intuitive messages, please, for my Leos. Is this all the way? Clear intuitive messages, please, for my Leos. We got unexpected income. Wow. Some of you guys, maybe this person is, like, reaching out to other people to get some form of support, some form of help. Um, maybe this is somebody that had multiple partners, like I said from the beginning. This is somebody that had you and probably everybody else, and maybe they were using all of you guys. Maybe somebody, some of y'all's per person probably stole your money. Some of you guys, this person probably stole your money. Maybe they used you in a way. If this was not a work situation, it could just be saying that somebody used you or somebody stole some money from you, Leo, or they were using you and everybody else that they were sleeping around with, Leo. Like, this person has you in some form of triangulation, I'm hearing, entanglement amongst other women or other men, Leo, and they were using all y'all for money. That's, exa that's exactly what I'm hearing for somebody. And now they're single. They had to reach out for, to, to somebody, Leo, for some form of help, for some form of support, Leo. Yeah, they because they, they're alone. This person is definitely alone. Yeah. And, and, and trapped in their head. Listen, some of y'all, this could be somebody calling you from prison. That's exactly what I'm hearing for some of y'all. Some of y'all's person could be in jail, and maybe this is them. Maybe they was trying to reach out, like I said. Maybe you thought it was a scam call. But it, it could be somebody from prison that you have held down. You have held down while they was in jail, Leo, the whole entire time. But when they did something which um, caused you to separate yourself, like, like I said, maybe you thought this person used you financially, Leo, you know, and then they dropped you. It could be, I'm seeing different messages for different Leos. But some of y'all could be, this could be somebody in jail that has other people out there that's supporting them, Leo, as far as like their family or whatever. Because if this person has um, options, they, they options are gone. Don't nobody want to speak to them. Don't nobody want to speak to this person because they know whatever they say is BS. So they have people that could be like like straight, maybe one of their homies that they still connect with. Um, or maybe it could be 
a mother figure, like a sister or a, a mom that could be supporting them, taking care of them. That's exactly what I'm hearing for some of y'all, you know, because everybody they was dealing with, including you, they don't, they don't, they don't talk to them no more. They don't mess around with them no more because they realized that they was full of BS and they was using them. But I hear, I keep hearing in the back of my mind, they brought this on to themselves. Yeah, they stuck. But you have, you have moved on with your life, Leo. A lot of y'all have definitely moved on with your life. They in your, their mind about you moving on. They don't really want you to get away. I feel like I just keep hearing this person keep trying to reach out to you, Leo, but you could be ignoring them or declining the calls. Or like I said, maybe you, your phone is like that where it automatically declines a call if they feel like it's a scam. But somebody is in a lot of bad shape. Listen, this person is in bad shape right now, Leo. Whether this is mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, I'm hearing everything. Three plus one is four. It's everything. They, everything around them is, is in bad shape right now, Leo. That's exactly what I just heard. Yeah, they sick you walked away. Some of you guys may have a child with this person, or maybe you had a miscarriage. Some of y'all lost a child um, that you, you know, with this person, especially if y'all messed around with each other, because like I said, some of y'all's person probably got, got something. But it is saying that maybe you had to have, a, somebody may have either lost a child, maybe you had like a miscarriage or an abortion, or, um, or if not, somebody did lose a child. But it is saying that walking away, you demanding, you re, you demanding your respect, Leo. Like I said, you had a lot of, you sh you put this person on a pedestal, Leo, and they just think that you're going to be sitting here waiting for them. No, I feel like this is what they have done to you. They had you at one point in time sitting there waiting for them. Because like I said, some of y'all could be pregnant or maybe you, you was pregnant, Leo. Y'all be careful because some of y'all's person probably want to get you pregnant, especially if you, um... If this person, if, if y'all had a conversation about having more kids, some of y'all, this person could be wanting to get you pregnant. But some of my Leos or cross watchers. Because I'm seeing different groups of Leos. Some of y'all, this is somebody that you used to work with. Some of y'all, this is somebody you had a business partnership with. Some of y'all, this could be somebody in jail. Um, another group of Leos, this could just be somebody in, that's out here in these streets. You know, they they for the community, they for the streets, and they you was just one of the people that happened to deal with them out of all the other people that they was dealing with, Leo. Okay, what else? Miss the card. Summer. Maybe the last time you spoke to this person was in a summer season, Leo. It doesn't even have to be last year. It could be year before last. You know, I strongly feel like it could. Some of y'all's person may, um, you may run into this person in the summer of this year, I'm hearing. But it is saying that this person is getting ready to pop back up in your life in some way, shape, or form. Even though you did move on, Leo. Yeah, and they're going, this is somebody that got something to say. Because they want to talk to you, Leo. This person got something to say to you. They want to talk to you about something. We got mirroring. Some of y'all's person feels like you are their other half, Leo. And they're coming to speak some form of truth about how they feel. What else? Yeah, it's because they hurt. It's because they hurt. They sick. Listen, this person, I keep hearing this person is in a lot of bad shape like right now, Leo. Whatever they tried to do to you to, to destroy you, it definitely did backfire. It backfired. They didn't get away with it. Like they thought that they was going to get away with, with it. They did not get away with this at all. But let me pull some random um, messages for y'all. It don't have to resonate. If this resonates with you on a personal level, it don't have nothing to do with this. It could. You know, take it. If it don't, then leave it. Okay, what else, Spirit? We need, like, two cards. We got number. So, hmm. Some of y'all, this person probably going to call you from a different number or somebody could be changing their number, whether this is you or them, or some of y'all, this person probably getting your number from somebody else. Cause like I said, if you didn't block them or ignore them, you, you could have just changed your number on them. So y'all just take what resonate with this situation. What else spirit? College. Some of you guys, maybe you met this person in college. Maybe this is somebody you used to go to school with Leo. 
Some of y'all, this could be somebody you still do go to school with. Somebody you go to school or work with, Leo. And maybe they got your number from somebody that you used to go to school with or that you work with or you used to work with. Or whatever y'all want to take what resonates. We got hold. Hmm. However you want to see that. <laughs> I don't know what... Some of you guys, maybe you quit school or you quit college. If you want to look at it as a personal, uh, um, on a personal level, level Leo. Some of y'all could be hearing from a college. And maybe they're putting you on a waiting list. Some of y'all could be on a waiting list to go back to school. That's exactly what I'm hearing for some of my Leos. We got extra work. Maybe you have to pick up another job instead of going back to school, Leo, since you are on a waiting list to go to school for some of you guys. Some of you guys could be could have could be juggling um another job, two jobs. Okay, let me pick another one. One more. We got stingy. Yeah, a lot of you guys may be being very stingy with your time, your energy. Um, Leo, maybe you just this could be a time that you could be all about yourself at this point. I am getting that energy for some of my Leos. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Lee. I hope it resonates with you guys, and y'all take care.